What is up guys? Good afternoon. We're definitely not in LA right now. I did a little trip this morning and got in the car at 5.30 in the morning to meet up with this guy. What's up? What's up, hey. Jesse? So I'm out here in Yucca Valley at the moment. We're in this place called Pioneer Town. We came out to meet up with my parents out in Joshua Tree. They just bought a piece of land, so I'm helping them do some stuff out here. Rachel's back in LA doing, I don't know what, but we came out to shoot some photos and just, you know, have a grand old time hanging out in the desert doing weird desert things. Look at that, look at that. Look at this, he's he's set up for the desert. Look at his style. Dude, I need, I need something here. Like, guys, you guys see this though. We are in what is called Pioneer Town is an old movie set that they've actually turned into like an actual place that you can go explore. Like all the places here are actual functioning shops, but it looks like an old school Western. So it looks super old. It's definitely not though. I mean, it's old Western old, not like actual Western old. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, okay, sense. that makes sense. It is crazy windy out here. We just saw like this dust storm blow through. Look at this. I don't know what this is. Pouring up ports. So the town is basically from that end where we started walking down to this end. Foot and hoof traffic only. It's a cool little town. I mean, it's like a, it was a movie set, so you can't imagine it's like huge, but they, they shot a ton of Westerns out here back in the day. They got some cool food. We had delicious chili right before this. The chili is top notch, really good. If you're gonna come here, go to, what's that place called? Um, Haddon. Called Pappy and Harriet's. That's where we ate. It's delicious, they have delicious chili. Nice big chunks of beef brisket and a chili. He got veggie chili, still really good. It seems to be there's other vloggers here. I don't know what this bus is. Looks like, at Jack Austin. Cool. If it's always been your dream to feed chickens, you can do that here. Don't try to catch one. They have a chicken feed thing. Please do not shake. So don't shake the fence, but you can feed the chickens. Give me cash. No change. I got headphones. Ah! All right, so we just got to uh, the middle of the desert. Oh, maybe we should fly bugs. <laughs> bugs too. Bugs too. Bugs too. The revenge. All right. Ugh. Car camping. Look at this. There's our camp spot. But I think tonight is gonna be like one of the craziest sunsets. Look at these clouds. Usually when you get clouds like this, that's when you get those crazy sunsets. You know, like if you go to our Instagram and you see like all those insane sunset photos, the way you get those is first you gotta have an amazing sunset. So to get one of those amazing crazy sunsets, you basically have clouds like this pretty much all day. So that's actually not the best day in general, but right as the sun hits the horizon, it creates this ray of light that hits all the clouds. So depending on if there's some texture in these clouds, you get one of those crazy sunsets. So that's what we're hoping for. And then from there you can, you know, tweak it in Lightroom, do some crazy stuff with the colors and drag the things and this and that. Uh, good stuff, but it starts with a pretty sunset. And a pretty sunset starts with awesome clouds. All right, so uh, everything out here in the desert wants to bite you, sting you, attack you, all that good stuff. Can you explain to me what the different plants are we're seeing on the property? Oh, we hey, we have someone. That is a Joshua tree. What's a Joshua tree? They remind me of Dr. Seuss. Yuccas. This is a juniper. Can you eat the berries? No. Don't get so damn close. <laughs> I'm dirty. You've been working. I know, I'm dirty. That's it? That's, That's all you got? What do you want to know? <laughs> There's also a lot of other things that are prickly. There's these little tiny cactus balls that like they'll like grab you, latch on, and just like attack. I think it's time to cue a 
sexy, slow motion, cinematic plants on the property. I hope all the pieces are in this tent. I didn't even check. I see your ninja seals. All right, we're all set up. We got our tent car camping and guess what just showed up? A giant container. So my parents need some sort of storage while they build their house out here and they got a container they're gonna store stuff in. And their house is also gonna be made out of containers. It's gonna be one of those really cool container homes. All right, so the guy who delivered the container put it in kind of the wrong spot. So it's a little bit off kilter. So we're gonna try to use the Hummer and pull it. Is that good? Keep going. Oh. All right, job's almost done, but the sunset is looking good, so we're gonna take a little break and go film. Like I said earlier, when you know the sun starts going down, that's when the sunset gets amazing. We're trying to get up to the ridge line to get a cool photo. Gotta do a sponsored post for this backpack, Code Epoxy Bag. Uh, it's awesome, it's my new climbing bag. Gotta get some sponsored posts for the Instagram. This is great though, it's a perfect setting. 8.5. 8.5? Yeah. All right, camera in hand. Ready, lenses, check. What? Should I have my camera down by my side for the photo? Whew, it's windy. All right, so we just had the sunset. It was amazing. We got some awesome photos. We set up camp, as you can see here. At some point, we're gonna go get food. There's Jesse. Hi. Hi. It's uh, it's dark out here. I mean, it's just us and like the Joshua trees. The only thing that we forgot was a bottle opener. So we have these beers, but we don't have bottle openers. So we, let me see what I brought with me. All right, so I have my ice axe. Let's see if that works. Good morning. What's, What's up? up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Gates went in this morning, stayed here and uh, paid the guy. We're gonna go explore. I don't know what we're doing today, but we're gonna go explore desert things. First things first though is coffee. It's a must. We haven't had coffee yet. My van is not handling the sand very well, but I think we got it. We're out. We're out. So we just got to what is called the Christ Park, and it's like overlooking the city of all Yucca. That's Yucca down there. Um, we just started on the other side of the valley, worked our way this way. Christ Park is essentially a park full of Jesus statues. That is, that's it, we're done with Christ Park. We got next spot. We're gonna go somewhere. It's a museum out in the middle of nowhere. Ah, it's a desert kind of junk museum. 
All right, the next stop on our journey through the desert, we're at this place called Noah Perfroy's Museum. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Basically, this guy came out here and started just building art out of junk, just trash. But he put it in a way that made like this crazy museum. So he's actually dead now. Now there's a group that has come together to keep it all set up so it doesn't get trashed. It's a it's an interesting spot for sure. Let's go see what uh let's go see what kind of art he's got. intricate in everything that he created that like there's just so much detail in like like look at this like look at all the different pieces he put on this with the doll heads and there's things and all the dominoes we're in like a little building right now with all the it's insane and he was out here just creating art a major traveler tip if you're going to explore some place like out in the desert like this the the key is setting up the trip beforehand like figuring out all the spots you're gonna go I use a few websites I use a few like apps uh, there's one roadside America it's an app it's awesome it shows you all the crazy stuff nearby it also helps you find some cool stuff when you're you know out exploring and then just have extra time to go see more there's some other like oddity type websites where you find like these kind of attractions stuff that's off the beaten path yeah so if you're going to explore and you want to find cool weird stuff do your research beforehand all right that's it for the museum that was bizarre definitely worth checking out if you're out in like the Joshua Tree area when we came here there was no one here and now there's people swarming all over but it's uh it's definitely interesting it's crazy what people will build. I mean, he spent his whole life just building art. I have no idea what the plan is from here. Maybe we'll go find some other stuff. I'm gonna go look on the app I was talking about and see what else I can find in the area. It's always some weird stuff. It's desert. There's things in the desert. There's odd things in the desert. Cool stuff to explore with cameras though. All right, so we just drove through the desert for another like 20, 30 minutes. It got really windy, but we're at some place called the Integratron. It's basically like a vortex where all these lines intersect in the world. Ooh, windy. I'm gonna go here. And basically they do a sound bath where you do like a deep meditation during this whole like intersecting of lines and there's like things involved, I don't know. There's two spots left. Literally, there's two spots left. So we are going right now. All right, we just got out of the sound bath, out of uh, this thing here, the Integraton. Woo! I mean, it's so windy. It is crazy. But like, this area is super cool. I mean, we didn't really get a chance to explore until just now, but they have like hammocks set up and like a bunch of chill things to do. I don't know. We're basically at the intersecting of lines and some, the guy who built this back in like the 50s or 40s, 50s, I don't remember exactly what, he, he was given the design by aliens and he came here and built it, which is crazy. And his, the whole theory behind doing the meditation sound bath things here is to help humans gain an extra 50 years on their life so they can have more compassion and love and all that good stuff. So something cool to check out out here in the desert for sure. Um, I feel relaxed. I mean, that's, that's the bonus, right? That's the whole point of it is to get that inner bit the sightings inside of you, the metaphysical, all this stuff, and line it up. There was like crystals in there too, so, you know, good stuff. All 
All right, I must say, awesome adventuring with this guy who's still taking photos, but this sunset is insane. I mean, you can't see it completely because the exposure, but we got like purples, we got like oranges, we got yellow, all that good stuff. Like I was saying, when you have clouds and they come in like this, that's when you get those awesome sunsets that are stellar. But that's it, guys. That is it for the vlog. It's been a fun adventure exploring the desert. Thanks for coming along this journey. And uh, yeah, I don't know, I'll see you guys on the next adventure.